And I'll go ahead and talk about this uh, a little bit. So basically when I start pedaling, the bike comes on. I'm gonna set a target range here of level 15, select go. Right here it's gonna show me my targeted miles per hour and that shows actual and it switches all the nice back and forth. It also shows distance here on the left and on the right it shows the amount of time that's left. So it says my target should be 11. I'm currently at 11.4. It says I burn one calorie here. I'll show you a difference between what the bike says and what the heart rate monitor says. 44 minutes left. My distance is 0.07 miles. So every minute it'll beep and it'll show me a new targeted miles per hour. Sometimes they stay the same, sometimes they change. And when it beeps in the center, it will show you the resistance level and it'll go up. It'll vary from like three to 10 or 11. And there's also a graph in the center that shows you too the resistance level, like when it's gonna increase. So now it's at level three, 11 miles an hour. You can kind of see the graph in the center has got a peak where it goes up. And that means that the resistance is gonna increase at that time. The main thing is, is to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And the goal is to keep at about the same speed that it recommends. So now we're about a minute into the cool down period. And basically you're just steady pace. <sighs> Take five. So now we're in the cool down period and basically you're just pedaling at a steady pace with pretty low resistance. We are at the top of the third minute of the four minute cool down. And I am out of breath. The cooldown period allows your heart rate to basically return back to normal gradually. If, uh, if you did really intense cardio and then just stopped all at once, there's a pretty good chance you would just pass out. Some people have been known to vomit from doing really uh, intensive cardio. And if you use a heart rate monitor, it's pretty easy to know your limits. Um, a standard practice is to take the number 220, which is beats per minute, your heart rate, maximum heart rate, subtract your age. Uh, for instance, just keep easy numbers. Let's say that you're 40 years old, so you take 220 minus 40. During workouts, you should never let your heart rate go above 180, which is 220 minus 40. On the last 45 seconds, now that I've got the sweat wiped off, let me show you some statistics and one of the things I don't like about this particular machine. So over here it will show me I went 9.98 miles during this workout. It shows I have zero seconds left. It says I burned 251 calories during this workout. Now something about this exercise machine is um, the calories you burn will be a factor of your body weight, your age, your fitness level, and the amount of exertion you do during exercise. So on this particular machine, you don't have a way to enter your age or your weight. So I think that what Gold's Gym did is they took an average of people that use this. People that were out of shape, people that were in shape, people somewhere in the middle, and various age, and they averaged that all together and come up with a value that the average person using this would burn this many calories. That's fine and dandy, but when I had a membership to a gym, which was a lot higher quality machines, uh, before I bought this, I knew approximately how many calories I would burn on their machines and then when I found an exercise on this one that I felt was pretty equivalent in the workout time and the exertion I noticed it was a lot different so that prompted me to go get a 
heart rate monitor and my heart rate monitor shows that I burned 497 calories during this workout not 251 so the heart rate monitor is about twice as many calories as the machine now this matters if you're trying to lose weight which a lot of people do they count their calories the foods they eat they count their exercise calories they burn so if you went by the scale on this gold's gym bike you would be 250 calories that's like a protein bar maybe two protein bars that you could have ate you know so it's a, it's a pretty big deal to people that are into fitness um, outside of that that is the only complaint about this bike that I've had uh, granted it did have the it did have the sensor that went bad that controls the tension one month after warranty but it was $87 versus the cost of a new one bike which was around 250 so it hasn't gone out again in the two years since I've replaced it. Like I said, I've had this bike about three years. So, you know, I've got uh, 280 plus 90. So I've got like $340 over a 36 month period that this bike, you know, has cost me. And you, you can't get a gym membership for that, I don't think. So uh, I really think that it's going to last, you know, a long time. But, um, so cardio is definitely something you want to do for uh, the off-season fitness for hikers do it as make it part of your regular exercise um, when i first bought this bike my goal was to lose weight i was terribly out of shape um, this bike actually helped me lose it was almost 40 pounds over a six or eight month period um, i lost 40 almost 40 pounds so well worth the money uh, definitely good for uh, regular cardio too.